Hi everyone, Angela here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these hanging tea towels that I designed. It's a really good one if you don't like the look of buttons or ribbons, gathering fabric, or you don't want to use Velcro or snaps. It's an easy sewing project for beginners, makes a great gift, and you can even add it as a product to sell as it's really quick to make. Make sure to watch till the end when I show you how to hang it on a bar. This design will not work on hooks. You can find links for all the tools I use in the description below. This tea towel that I've pressed measures 19 inches wide by 26 inches long. You can use any tea towel that has similar measurements. You can leave the content label on, but I would definitely cut off the hanging loop as you won't need it anymore. Fold the towel lengthwise in half and cut down the center. Separate and then fold one of the pieces wrong sides together to find the center. Open with the wrong side up and use chalk or a pen to mark that center. Then from that center mark, mark four inches and then another three inches. And repeat on the other side. Turn it sideways on the ironing board and then we're going to make two big pleats in the center on each side by matching the four inch marks to the center mark. Give it a light press, then turn the ends in at the outer marks towards the center back. Pin or clip it in place and flip it over. The center should measure 4 inches with an inch on each side so that it measures a total of 6 inches across or 15 and a quarter centimeters. Then give it a light press with the iron. To cut the fabric top, I'm using my large quilting ruler with the silicon template grips. First cut away the selvage edge, square up one end, and then cut out a piece that's 7 inches or 17.8 centimeters wide by 15 inches or 38 centimeters long. Fold your fabric lengthwise in half and cut little notches in the center. And if you have a directional pattern on your fabric, make a notch at the top. For the band, we need to cut a piece that's seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters wide by eight inches or 20.3 centimeters long. This piece of fabric is gonna be folded along its length into four sections like this, and this will be the part that shows in the front. If there's a special part of the fabric that you want on the front, you'll have to make a pattern piece first out of translucent template plastic. Divide it into two inch sections, and then mark up this section where the pattern will show and also draw an arrow pointing down for the direction. I want the words organic food to show so I'm just going to center it in that section and cut it out. Flip the fabric over and fold in half lengthwise and crease it with your finger. Bring the top and bottom edges together in the center and give it a press with the iron. Fold again, matching the edges at the bottom, and give it another press. Now if this was plain fabric and you wanted to do some embroidery on the front, this is where and when you would do it. With the folded bottom edges even, sew them together with a quarter inch or six millimeter top stitch. Check that the bottom layer isn't poking out. Stitch close to the edge, pivot, and then continue with the quarter inch top stitch along the top. With the bottom of the top piece facing you, find the notches in the center. Place the bottom corner of the band on the notch. Line up the sides and then just sew a holding stitch close to the edge. Now the band is slightly wider, so line up the sides again with the bottom corner at the notch and stitch. Going back to the other side, fold the fabric over at the notch nice and tight with the edge of the band. With the side edges even, use a half inch or 12 millimeter seam allowance and stitch down about two and a half inches just past the edge of the band, back tacking at the start and finish. Now flip over and move any of the excess band out of your way and fold over and stitch just like the other side. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Also, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this hanging tea towel design. With the band sewn in place, open up the fabric and locate the notch at the top. 
With the right side up, center the tea towel along the top edge of the fabric. There should be half an inch of fabric showing on either side of the tea towel. Now sew right on top of that stitching to hold it in place. This step is optional. Starting from the bottom, roll the tea towel tightly about halfway up and then line up the bottom edge of the fabric with the top edge. Using a half inch or 12 millimeter seam allowance, stitch right across back tacking at the start and finish. Go back to the edge and fold the seam allowance towards the center, nice and snug against the edge of the towel, and then sew right on top of the stitching with the back tack. Repeat for the other side. Pull out the tea towel, and then pull on the seam allowances of the openings, and that'll give you nice clean corners. Push out the rest of the fabric and then pull on each side of the band and that'll give you a nice clean edge along the top. At the side openings, straighten out the half inch seam allowances and crease the folded edges with your fingers. Also crease along the top folded edge and then flip the band to the front of the tea towel. Also smooth out the fabric and pull along that center seam. Move the band out of the way of the top edge and start a quarter inch top stitch at the center. Start by back tacking and stitch just before the edge. With needle down, pivot, and then you're gonna edge stitch those sides together all the way down. Keep the band out of your way when you're doing all of this top stitching. If you find edge stitching too difficult, you can do a quarter inch top stitch all around. Stop a quarter inch from the seam, pivot, and then continue with a quarter inch top stitch along the bottom edge of the fabric. Stop just before the edge, pivot, edge stitch this other side, move the band out of your way, stop a quarter inch from the top, pivot, and then finish your quarter inch top stitch at the top by back tacking. Trim all your threads, flip the band to the back, and once it's turned over, the pattern is showing in the front. To hang the towel, have the right side facing you with the band at the back, place the top of the fabric over and behind the bar, place the bottom of the towel through the loop and pull. When you need to take it off again, just grab the band and pull down. Thanks again for watching. I really hope you try this out and have a look at some of my other videos. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.